traders, it's Anthony here. What I want to do with this video is show you or share with you my scalping slash day trading strategy. There's some results from yesterday in VIP using this strategy. We'll go through these trades and uh, I'll explain a few things. Now, this is a, a paper trading account that I'm using for uh, the VIP signals at the moment. But just to let you know that I do trade for a living. Here's uh, one of my live accounts, as you can see. So it's coming back over to trading view. So we'll run through these. I think Pound Aussie was the first one. Just trading this on a 5M, five minute chart up the top here. And we want to enable, I got two trend bars here. I mean, you can use these uh, candle colors if you like, or we'll take them out. We'll just take them out for now. See, this would have been ideal. Pretty simple. We're looking for relative equal highs in this case. This signal here is a stop run and this signal here is a break of structure. So ideally these two signals together will give us the opportunity. Now the break of structure happened uh, down here where we had this lower low. We've got this red shaded zone above here indicating that this is a previous resistance level and the best setups are going to be where you see a combination of yellow orange or white dotted lines or, or hard, you know, um, lines like this. And again, you want this to be favorable. And I mean, look, ideally this should be trending bearish on the higher time frame. But uh, anyway, what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a look at that and show you uh, how you can find those setups. In fact, it's this trend bar indicator here. We need to enable this trend meter. I'll take out the label, but this trend meter bar here. And I'll show you what that is in a minute. But I mean, this setup here then, double top. And I've talked about this previously where you get a, a range, although that's a little bit early. I mean, the double top will give you the start of this, this range through here. But a double top, double bottom, and then they hit liquidity. And then we get the move. So, you know, your entry point would be as this starts to trend down. And also you want to see some displacement to the downside. I mean, this is not the best example, but that could have been an entry point there stop above and uh, and currently we're at 2.17 r you know you'd target this price swing below but let's just go back and have a look at the actual trade that we took here here it is i think yeah this is it okay see the range and look if you want to use these indicators where you see a cluster of white candles okay relative equal highs through here and yeah, stop was a bit wide on this one yeah i just set it up above this so what we've got here is a couple of things let me show you this and why we took this trade. So we get the range relative equal highs through here. This is building liquidity above and below. We've traded into a big level here. This, is, this, this was a really nice setup. This orange line here is depicting a previous weekly high or low. And there's a, uh, a yellow dotted line. That's a previous daily high or low. We can see down here, if you look carefully you might have to open the screen a little bit in, enlarge the video but there's a uh, a yellow dotted line running all through here if you can see that that's a uh, previous I've just got these set fairly subtle because I don't like big thick marks on the on the chart I mean you can adjust the the size of this but that that's the the line that's running through here okay that's a weekly orange is weekly so this is respecting this weekly level we get the range and then we get a little bit of a dip down here and a run up here. This is my fakey shaky chart pattern that I talk about. Well, it's not mine. <laughs> it's drawing traders in here, building more liquidity as stops go above. You can see this with the, uh, the little dot that this has broken these lows at least. And, and then we get this stop run and thin wick up, right? Now this signal here, gives us the break of structure see here down in here that's our break of structure and then we look for the pullback so our entry point was right on the fibonacci retrace of that break of structure let me just increase that so you can see so we're looking at swing high swing low pull back into this 50 i got in a little bit earlier i got in down here and there was a reason for that see this yellow line here that's a previous daily high or low now, I wasn't sure whether it was going to respect that. 
and, and roll over here. So I was quite happy to take that trade. So you can see the little red arrow. That was our entry point on this one. So that's, that's the price action I'm looking for. But these are the signals. And you can set these to go off in the uh, alerts. Uh, this, let's increase my pencil here. But uh, that is the alerts. You click that. The, these will go off. You can set these alerts. I've done videos on this, so I won't show you here. But, you know, if you go through my, my uh, tutorials, you'll see you want these two. And, and this one followed by this is ideal. The red dot here and, and the triangle. Triangle break of structure, red dot, stop run. I think the pound CAD was next. Yeah, pound CAD. And then we've got gold and uh, NAS. All right, pound CAD. Have a look at that one. Uh, you know, taking this to another level, we prefer to look for these setups into see these shaded zones here this this zone here is the asia open here and the ict kill zone this is the london open and the kill zone and again we've got relative equal highs we've got this yellow dotted line back in here and up in here okay so ideally this is trading into resistance so we could pull that line through See how it's respecting this level? And then we've got this other yellow dotted line above that's already marked up on the chart. That's this indicator here. And the trend channel will give us, well, this will also give us uh, these previous dailies, monthly and weekly levels as well. Okay, so we've got white candles in here indicating that uh, this is ranging. Okay, we've got the dot, stop run. There's another stop run here, but we didn't see a dot. That's fine. But then we've got these red triangles giving us a break of market structure and generally the first one is a break into the cloud that's generally a uh, market shift call it a chock okay change of character and then the second is cloud break number two we've got marked up here that's that's the uh, break of market structure bos i look for the break of structure here and then the pullback and again i'm looking at the uh, swing you, you look at these price swings previous swing high to swing low down in here and the 50% to 61.8 Fibonacci see that's where my uh, entry was well, it's pretty precise now this this is a higher risk trade given that we've got this bar under here this is a, uh, a four hour and daily are uh, predominantly bullish right so this is counter trend and so you need to understand the risk I would prefer that this bar down here was red and this was a pullback trading with the trend bearish, okay? So understand there is counter trend, but you can see the red dot. That was the entry point. And I took two TPs here and here. I don't know why I didn't. 50% parcel was closed there. And what happened after that? Okay, it looks like I actually closed it. To be honest, I can't remember why, but you, there's two uh, up arrows there. So anyway, we took a trade from here down, okay, 1R. I've got 50% close, but I can see I've got two up arrows here. Look, I'll tell you what, my memory's failing me, guys. Why I shut that down there, I don't know. Never mind, so that was a one-hour outcome. Uh, the other one was gold. And I'll try to find a, um, an ideal setup so that you increase your probability factor, really. I mean, we're getting a pretty nice win rate as it is. Actually, we'll go to uh, our NAS or gold. We'll go down to gold here, and then it was the NAS 100. Yeah, this was the gold trade. That's the setup. Yeah, I just went off price action on this one. I didn't use I mean, you could have used this uh, signal back here, but uh, I just went off price action. And mainly what I was looking at was this started to um, trade sideways here. And then we had this spike up and displacement to the downside. And uh, this one, the last one was NAS. Okay, this one again, it's a higher risk given the fact that we've got this green bar under here. I would prefer this to be red, but uh, we took this trade and I've marked up this. You can see here, equal highs, stop run, and then it starts to displace to the downside. We've got this break of structure here, retrace, pullback, entry, target one. We close partial and then target two at 2R, close to the trade. What I want to do is show you an ideal setup as this is... As I mentioned, fairly risky given that we're trading against the trend. It's a counter trend trade. You know, I will take them if the setup is there, but I'm going to show you an ideal setup. Look at this and look at the outcome. See, this is trading with the trend and then you have these opportunities then to catch some of these moves. 
Right, here it is back here. Look at this. Trading into the uh, London kill zone here. Okay, so this is actually an ideal setup. This is the sort of thing you want to wait for. I would prefer to see, see this yellow line down here. I would prefer to see either a yellow, orange or a white line through here. So this is either a previous daily, weekly or, or monthly, high or low. But uh, we do have it down in here. Okay, but I really like the, the colours. I'm a visual kind of guy. Okay, so we've got trending down, clearly, red. And then we see these white bars, uh, candles kicking in here. This is a stop run. We've got the green bars telling us that the higher time frame is bullish. This white line is the New York midnight. Okay, so after that, we're looking for an opportunity into this blue zone here. Okay, the bars start to turn green. And watch out for the fakey shaky, right? You get a bit of a fake out here. It builds liquidity under and then they shake everybody out here. There's a couple of ways you can enter this trade. Fibonacci retrace low to high. Entry point 50 to 618. If you miss that, you've got this opportunity here. And this is ideal given that we're trading into the, the, the London kill zone. So you've got your Fibonacci swing low, swing high right there. Pull back down into the 50 to 618. So there's your entry point. There's a high probability setup given that we have this green bar under here and uh, the high time frame's bullish. Stop goes under the low. You know, look, I was saying previously a minimum of one to two risk reward. I would go to one to 1.5 minimum. And you have the option with this. You can take partial profits at 1R and pull your stop loss up to break even. That's one approach. Then you've made money and the rest is completely risk free. And you'll stay in this trade until, well, look, you've got clues here when to take profit. The, these signals here, definitely. Or oh, the first white bar you see. And that's pretty much it. It's fairly simple, guys. You could backtest this. And your set of rules could be that you're trading into these uh, three time zones. And if you see the green signal, you need to see a green bar under. And vice versa, a red signal. All right, you want to see the red bar under. Trading counter trend is, is a much higher risk. But uh, the, the benefit of trading with the trend is... I mean, it just kept going and going. And if you manage your trade well, I mean, you could trail that all the way. All the way. I mean, that's a huge... You know, then it shifts gears here and turns red. I mean, that could be your exit. But, you know, while it's green, stay with it. Anyway, it just depends on how well you, you manage it. You know, that could have been your exit there as well. But, you know, there's, there's more opportunities to enter here. Green under, green signal, take the trade. But uh, this bar under here is really key. Anyway, guys, look, that's the, uh, the strategy. And again, it's the, the volatility after the range. So you see it ranging. You're in a bullish trend. So you're looking for a stop run and displacement to the upside. You uh, enter on the pullback. Anyway, guys, look, that more or less sums it up. Jump on board with us. Okay, membership is now discounted. Prior to today, we had a, uh, it was $49 a month. Okay, with a free 30-day uh, trial that we've cancelled that it's now just 19.95 a month and there's a lifetime op option as well and when you get good at this i mean you can definitely see the benefit okay guys so uh, jump on board it's extremely affordable and nothing else out there like this anywhere okay with that hope you have a great day safe trading see you in the next one